that moment, it was, I walked home at probably 3 a.m., 4 a.m. by myself. Maybe even the sun was coming up, but I had the biggest smile on my face. I knew she was the one. I was like, I gotta somehow marry this girl. He always tells me that after that conversation, even though it was five in the morning and he had to bike home, that he biked home with a huge smile on his face. So that was really sweet. That night that we spent talking was one of those nights that you just kind of wish went on and on. Alex, when I first saw you, I thought you were beautiful. You had long blonde hair, which you still have today. Drop dead bombshell. And I didn't think I had a shot, but you just blew me away. Thomas is one of those people that just everybody feels comfortable around right away. He just has this very calming presence and that feeling where you just know you're around a really good person and that's like a quality um, that you can't teach. It's just something you're born with and that's something he has like in space. Like he's very um, warm and approachable and just like the most kind person. The first night that we met I was actually with um, my cousin Kendra and we were in the nightclub and the second I saw Thomas I actually said to her I was like you better keep me away from him because that's gonna be trouble like that guy is so good-looking um, he was just kind of that tall handsome stranger that I definitely wanted to meet I think I knew Thomas was the one when I just couldn't picture myself without him Thomas and Alexandra have chosen to celebrate their love in a place the couple holds dear. You paid a lot for that makeup, Alex. <laughs> this farm has been in Alex's family for over a hundred years. And both Alex and Thomas take great joy on being on this land and working alongside their family. They also both have an intimate connection with nature. Alex and Thomas met while living in Nova Scotia. The very first night they met, they bonded over the fact that they grew up spending their summers on the same lake in Muskoka. Muskoka is a huge place, so that is pretty remarkable. Alex, I love you. I vow to make you laugh when you're sad. Do the heavy lifting when you need a break. I vow to view things from your perspective and stop complaining about how our vacations can often turn into marathons. Because even though they can be tiring, camping on the Great Wall of China is a much better memory than sitting on another beach somewhere. I vow to cherish the time we have on this beautiful earth together, and I promise I will do everything in my power to ensure nothing pulls us apart. Alex, I love you. Look away for a second. <laughs> Close your eyes. Thomas, I love you. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. I vow to continue to build our life together and never stop daydreaming with you. I vow to challenge you and support you and hold each other accountable. I vow to give you space to hold your own individuality alongside who we are as a couple. I will always be your biggest fan. I vow to remember how we feel today and keep that with me. I vow to love you and be there for you, not when it's easy, but especially when it's hard. That's it. Yeah, can't do more. <laughs> no longer simply partners and best friends, but you're now husband and wife. 
you may kiss your beautiful bride. So now it gives me great pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Alexandra Armstrong. Long hair across the room, baby she got that glow. I know you see me over here, so dance on me real slow We've been going for about two hours, and I don't even know your name So baby, please reveal, reveal Your friends are calling you, baby, stay with me instead I know you're saying that you're tired I haven't thought that far into the future or what things will be like after our wedding, but I know if my future's with you, Thomas, it's gonna be amazing. Alex, I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. I love you. <laughs>